I've had lots of problems in the past getting finely sliced onion or finely chopped onion. What I decided to do was come out to the garage and see if I can find a better way of dicing an onion. I mean, obviously, I can't machine the onion in the chuck like that because it hasn't got a, a very good hole of it, but it should be good enough so I can put a centre drill in and then bore it out so it'll fit a mandrel. I've got a mandrel, a 5 8th mandrel. What I'll do, I'll probably bore this out to 9 16 which is going to give me a 30 second side interference fit, which should be enough to hold the onion to allow us to take fine cuts off the outside and hopefully get some real nice, finely dashed onion. Anybody that watches my videos regularly will realise I do take health and safety very importantly and I make sure I wear all the available protective clothing. Walk to this rascal to stop the horrible stench of the onion gas making the eyes stream. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find very much information regarding feeds and speeds on onions. I've got this one at 310 just to try and take the facing cut off the end just so I can get the centre drill. Ah, the bastards come loose. This is a problem I thought we might have. I'm going to have to go for the, the centre drill without, without facing the end. I just can't get a good enough, a good enough grip on it. I think the onion should machine dry because it has got quite a quite a good good, good juice content. Right, we've got a nice centre drill mark in there. Yeah, we've got a 916 drill here. I'm using a more tape drill just so there's no chance of it slipping. it in very gently. There's quite a lot of juice coming out of it. Right, so that's bored through 9 sixteenths. The actual fact we have got some nice very very finely chopped onion there I'll put that to one side and keep that, that will definitely go into the pie This is the mandrel I'm going to use it actually it looks a bit like a boring bar but between centre use but I can assure you there's a mandrel for machine onions I'm using a tailstock to push it through I don't normally like doing this but I'm not putting a great lot of force on. I'm hoping there'll be, there'll be enough friction between the mandrel and the onion to give us a decent drive. That's not. What I'm going to do, I'll put a little grub screw in there and that should bank into the onion and definitely give us a better drive. Put a 4mm bolt in and that will give it a lot more grip. Right, that's definitely got a much better hold. I'll try to make sure I don't go down too deep in case the tool catches the, the drive dog. This bar is normally mounted between centres. I'm just going to grip one end in the in the chuck. Just nice and lightly, just the very end of it. The other end goes into a centre. Obviously, a live centre. Just enough weight on. 
Make sure that's running quite nicely. See, I'm using a tea towel to protect the, the layer's bed. As long as Deb doesn't watch this video, I'll be alright. I've made sure a tea towel is well away from the revolving chop in nowhere near the layer's heat screw. We'll put a light foot on. Just enough to get the skin off, really. Power feed. I mean, it is cutting, but it's, I don't think the tool is actually sharp enough. It's certainly cutting it. It's making it. It's making some impression on it. I think what could work better on ya. Is a real sharp tool, like a parting tool, whatever the bastard thing is. Right, I'll try it with my parting tool, parting tool set very, very slightly above centre, just so we don't get any nasty dig ins. That's definitely cutting better. Try a nice deep cut here. Try a 60 thousandths cut. That's making some real fine chippings up. It's putting a decent finish on as well. We're getting some lovely, some lovely fine pieces here. Just what I'm looking for. I think I'm going to try a plunge cut on it, because this could also be good for making onion rings. Try going straight in. Oh, that really is making nice juicy chips up. We've got some real nice onion rings for me here. We've certainly got some lovely, lovely fine chips. I'll tell you what, machine some of this off so we can get the onion rings out of there. As you can see, we we'll have formed some really nice onion rings. There's some more there. They're really nice, coated in butter and fried and dripping. We've actually machined down into our drive dog, so now I think we'll have to concentrate on this side of it. The concept of dicing the onion didn't work that well, but the onion rings are definitely definitely going to be a winner. This is the finished result. The actual onion chips aren't going to be that, that much use. It's more like a mush than a chip. But these onion rings are absolutely superb. That even thickness, I would say they're about 150 thou thick. Hard to get a good measurement because they're a little bit squashy and there's a bit of skin on there. But basically 150, 160 thousandths. Very little waste. Man rugs in his job, the little drag dog did very well. Just from here now to go and cook these.
Pasztaci! Pasztaci! 